I think we underestimate how important expression is, both written and oral expression. I think every career, job, the future that we have is highly dependent on us being able to communicate well. And so these writing classes give us a space to practice that. These classes are designed to help improve your writing, so it doesn't matter where you start, but this is how you are going to get better. I get to know the students better. I get to think with them about the material more deeply, and in, often in ways that are challenging to me. So for me as a teacher, it's actually a, a big plus. Writing was never one of my strong suits really, so kind of um, going through a class that's based on writing was a little uh, nerve-wracking, especially uh, since we're graded on that. But um, it gave me a chance to develop and get better at a skill that I didn't really possess before. Well, after having looked at some lab reports from previous semesters, which were written in rather shorthand form, data tables, summaries of data, short conclusions, little bullets, I decided it would be better for students to write reports in a more formal style, and so we adopted the style of the Journal of Physical Chemistry. And so it reads much more like a narrative, like a story. And it forces the students to integrate the results of their experiments and the discussions of those results into a coherent narrative. One of the most challenging things for students, I think, is to accept that building their own voice requires feedback from the instructor and from their peers, rather than me giving feedback line by line by line, changing every word. What I might do is provide the student with a few suggestions on how an argument might be shaped. I often start by pulling five sentences from the various papers anonymously, and we look at the five sentences, and we talk about their strengths and weaknesses, and um, as people get braver and get to know one more, one another more, we can actually put someone's paper up and someone can talk about their paper. I try to let the suggestions come from the students as much as possible, and then when they do, I can formalize the observation using standard writing language that they may not have at their fingertips. But generally, students have a good gut instinct about what's working and what's not as a sentence and as an argument and finally as a paper. Do you realize a lot about your own writing when you, you know, critique other people's writings and you see also different writing styles and skills, things that maybe you don't want to do or things that you do want to do? I think the hardest part about this course was hearing the criticisms from your peers because you get into these really big debates because they weren't understanding what you were saying or you weren't, you know, you weren't demonstrating what you were trying to say to them and the, you know, with your writing and it was a lot of, it was a lot of crisscross in terms of trying to communicate with them, but it was also probably the most beneficial thing. Having somebody come at your writing and give you feedback and really think about what can I draw from this? How can I not be defensive? How can I not be unhappy if this person doesn't love everything I've said and actually benefit from their perspective on what might be unclear, what might be better, better stated? If you really get into it, um, you know, you can learn a lot, not only about what you're doing, but also about yourself. One of my great struggles is to convince students that their writing matters. I think they're so used to writing throwaway things. Uh, that, you know, I got an A and I never, I don't look at it, or I got an F, I don't, don't look at it, nobody cares what I write. So I have to make it matter somehow, and that's part of the integrating the group. Um, but that's, that's what I really want, that's where I want them to be, that every word matters, and um, you formulate sentences, you, you make arguments, you tell stories, because they matter.